Welcome back everyone, today we are going to make sodium carbonate. For this only 84 grams of sodium bicarbonate are needed. We then start off by weighing an empty beaker. This way determining the yield later on will be easier. The scale was set to zero. 84 grams of sodium bicarbonate were then weighed out. To turn sodium bicarbonate into sodium carbonate, a hot plate will be needed. A Bunsen burner or even an oven can also be used. It is important that the heat source used can reach approximately 200 degrees Celsius. At this temperature, a thermal decomposition will take place. Sodium bicarbonate decomposes to sodium carbonate, carbon dioxide and water. Some water vapor started to condense at the cold walls of the beaker. The sodium bicarbonate was occasionally stirred to make sure that even unreacted sodium bicarbonate gets to the hotter bottom of the beaker, reacting and turning into carbon dioxide, sodium carbonate and water. If you look closely you will actually see some bubbling as if the sodium carbonate bicarbonate was a liquid. If a Bunsen burner however is used, the bubbling will become even more evident. After water formation stopped and no more bubbling occurred, we left the beaker stand on the hot plate for 10 more minutes. It was taken off the hot plate and allowed to cool down. When it had cooled down we were left with this nice powder which is mostly sodium carbonate. To determine the yield the beaker again was put on top of a scale and weighed out. By subtracting the weight of the beaker from the total weight we were left with 53.1 grams. This represents a yield of 100.3% which means there's still some unreacted sodium bicarbonate or impurities, but these should be negligible. Near 100% yields can be expected. The sodium carbonate was then transferred to a storage bag and put away. And there you have it, sodium carbonate. We simply wanted to try out this little experiment. Sodium carbonate can also be bought quite cheaply in many stores. It's known as washing soda and can also be found as pH plus for pools. If you liked today's video make sure to drop me a like and consider subscribing to my channel for more chemistry content in the future. I wish all of you a nice day, until next time.